Hey guys, welcome to another video, and in today's video, I'll be going over a replay of how I hit GC3 this season, as you can see, 1716. I wanted to record this game in person, but I was a little busy, and I just have the replay for you guys. I'll be going over what I did right, what I did wrong, what I could do to improve, and general tips that maybe you guys are missing that could help you in your gameplay. But other than that, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the game. Alrighty, welcome to the game. I just want to say, first off, I didn't play this one well at all, so I'll be making a few more mistakes than usual. But, you know, that's how we live and we learn, you know? Right here, I would have been, if I wanted a better play of this, I would have already been moving. And this is what separates, uh, honestly, high rank players from even myself, is I would have been already ready in a better position to you know, help in this play. So what I mean by that is I grabbed the 100 boost here, right? I see that my teammate here, let's call him Mr. W, uh, is already popping it up. I should be, honestly, if I'm like reading the play, I should be at least right here already, uh, ready for whatever play. And, you know, if it gets behind me, uh, it is what it is. But I should be here already and this should be, you know, on that side of the field if not but i'm a little slower to it and i get a terrible 50. weird camera movement i get a terrible 50. my teammate said it's a horrible spot i try to close down the space as fast as i can which is why you know i get there on the ball just trying to close space down it is what it is but we go in the air we're trying to this is a really bad challenge looking at this now my teammate doesn't have much boost so I gotta stall this per, for pretty much as long as I can. So if I were to redo this play, I would have, you know, grabbed the boost, this would have stayed the same. I would have went up the wall, but if he goes ceiling here, cause I'm committing to this, right? This means I'm committing if I'm going to the ceiling. I should have either A, not jumped off the ceiling and let my car momentum fall. So I keep my flip. Because this way I jump off the ceiling, I have to, have to, have to flip into this. So with me, you know, flipping in it, going really, actually really low, and then flipping into it, this creates the one-on-one -on -one with a, not that I knew at the time, but a pretty well-boosted up uh, opponent and a not-so-boosted up teammate. So overall, I give teammate a really bad situation and, you know, it, it backfires on us, it goes in the net, right? So redoing that again would have went up on the ceiling and just fell off of it instead of committing my boost and, you know, my flip into it. This is also a pretty bad jump or a pretty bad challenge. I wouldn't have done this in the first place now. I would have, you know, gone back, maybe grabbed a few pads and protected the net. Like, uh, what I mean is like, so I went on this side, the ball pops over me, I would have maybe grabbed this pad, this pad, and then been ready for a shot. Or I grab this pad and kind of shelter it towards the corner so that I can, you know, grab this boost and, you know, stall time for my teammate to get back. All those types of things. Instead, you know, we double jump here. Like, I have 34 boost. I have enough to make a challenge here. I think this is what I wanted to do, like stall. But I create a horrible spot. For both me and my teammate. I'm not trying to close down the space. Trying to not use boost or flip. Go for a demo. Don't know why I went for that. Just waste boost. I'm trying to see what my teammate's doing. I think this is where I get confused a little bit. Because, you know, I see him going for it. I'm just trying to, you know, turn up the field. Maybe the boost is like what made my teammate not go it's also he doesn't have the best angle on it which is why i probably thought i should have went it's kind of a toss up here like he has a lot of boost he can go for it or i can i have a little bit of an easier shot on net but if he doesn't go for a shot on net you know that's fine as well not everything has to be at the net at the net because honestly that's better than having it on the net that's a terrible touch don't know how he got that's just an unfortunate play here I lock with this guy, he hits it right at him, and, you know, him having boost, me not having boost, uh, it goes in our net pretty easily. <laughs> Regular kickoff here, I think. 
right now. I back foot. I think <laughs> I think at this point I was tilted at my team. I think he said something in chat, which is why I did this because I I never do this. So I I was probably tilted at something he said. <laughs> This is a good challenge. Like, this is the difference between a decent challenge. Like, this it's not the greatest, but it's still good. This blocks off. Like, I cover. Slow down me. <laughs> the reason why this works so well is because I, you know, challenge it right away. I don't let him get time. And, you know, the flip and the pinch was an added bonus of it creating, like, going back on their side. Unfortunately, I get demoed. You know, it is what it is. But this, you know, the way my teammate is kind of trying to create time. I see that he's low boost. So I try to save him the mid boost. Just challenge right away. You know, it could have been I grab the mid boost and I challenge. Or, you know, he gets it. Either or. Pretty bad for me. I gotta hit this. That's, that's really it. I just gotta hit that. I try to get in a better position. I just see my teammate has a little boost. I try to get a cheeky shot. Really bad touch, honestly. I see my teammates in a little bit of a, a kerfuffle <laughs> with the opponents. I got all off the wall somehow. I just, I'm just like not doing, as I said in the beginning, I'm not making very good moves, smart plays. So, yeah. Right here, I, the reason I, go over here then instead of going down the mid is because i'm trying to cover for my teammates you know and this is a tip for anyone trying to solo queue is you play the bad option like let's say you're in diamond and and or champ 90 percent or like maybe let's say 80 60 70 percent of the player base or not player base but the people in that rank won't get a touch that goes right just like this right and the other chances is taigo challenges immediately if i turn up and go up the field here this creates a open gap in our in a weak spot where the net's like right open if i go up here and use some boost and i go align with him yes this could help out the play but look who's also lurking for it like his wheel isn't turned right right now but he could easily just turn around and you know cut this play off because it's a pretty easy play to read. So that's why I cut off, eh, not cut up here. I drive up here and try to make an option, like a back pass type of thing. You know, it goes forward, that's all right. But pretty much I'm trying to give them, take away their free shot and make it a little bit harder besides fighting for the, uh, the ball. I see my teammates low. I try to 50 it, it goes well. I try to get this mid. I'm a little awkward off the, the wall. Bad shot. If I were to replace this again, I'd drive a little bit more wide. Like I would go around just a little bit more. Like literally just if my car's here, I'd be like right here. If I were to redo this, because then I have a way to shoot here, way to shoot here. Instead of a kind of kind of panic shot. Where I shoot it right where the guy's driving instead of where he was. The better person places it where the defender is not, right? I try to fake. I try to cut back for my teammate because I saw he took the mid boost. So that leaves me with either no boost so I can challenge. Many things. So I'm ready for the pass mid, as you can see. Which is why it's such a readable play. But, you know, looking at it now, there's no one to pass it mid to. So. <laughs> Very weird move from me i kind of read the uh the fake here just because he's not there for it i tried to pass it mid didn't work so i go back here i'm waiting for the ball to go and it rolls in right <laughs> happens it's crazy didn't mean to hit circle there big kickoff like this can determine the game i get the ball i get challenged early if I want to, actually, if I redo this, and I see the ball here, I'm going to take this slow, because I see I'm using boost. Like, if I'm taking this slow again, I'm waiting. It goes down, he has to go down, and or commit, like, as I did early on. Commit all my boost, commit my flip for this ball, but if I hit it high, I'm just hitting it right into him. So if I take this slow and kind of, like, move it down here, maybe get a pass mid, 
it doesn't go right to him and it doesn't get taken away from me. Take it a little slower, pretty much. Right here, I'm kind of trying to follow up the play, yet again, play for the bad shot. Does this go through me, or do I miss it? I need to see this one quick second. It's kind of, kind of like a both, honestly. Oh, 10%. My wheel touches it, but that's not worth the... Uh, that's not going to do much. So I guess I miss it. Go save from my teammate. I try to save him the boost so he can carry his momentum. He misses that. I'm ready for the shot. Doesn't come, so... I'm trying to play the 50 now. He breaks the rule. So... He gets a read. I'm just trying to stall this onto the wall. Get a touch and follow it up. So we can keep the, the play going. Just trying to cut off the play. I wasn't exactly ready for it. I can take it off the back wall. So I'm just gonna try and like stall time, get a 50. Not stall time, but like stall my positioning. My teammate's close, close quarters to me. I turned the wrong way here. If I turn the, uh, the exact opposite way, I can get a, a easier shot than whatever this is. <laughs> but I give him the dime. And he's there, and it's a team play. <laughs> if you are enjoying the video so far, please hit that sub button if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel, and I greatly appreciate it if you do. But let's get back into the video. Regular takeoff. Goes up. I try to keep the aggression up. I try to get it on their half early. Because, you know, we're trying to keep our, <laughs> keep our aggression up. Try to, you know, score. Because it's a tight game. I'm trying to wait for their hit. They don't hit it. I yet again turn the wrong way. And my teammate's there. Right. This is just me like. Being slow and not aware that they have no boost. And also that they just won't hit it. So. But yet again. If I just don't turn the. I turn the wrong way again. If I turn. Let's either I turn faster or I turn the other way. I'm there to the ball a little quicker. Doesn't matter my teammates there, but it's the thought that counts, right? I'm looking out for the uh, Spanish. No Spanish. Tap it up to myself. Free open net. I don't miss that that often, so <laughs> we take those. But yeah, regular kickoff right here is clutch time. Last like 60 seconds. I go to the ceiling. I try to pass it to my teammate. I miss the ball. Because, you know, I waste my flip, so I gotta use my other flip to get to there. There's a shot, it goes wide, I miss, and it goes behind me, and I am messing up here. I think I typed something, yeah, I probably typed something here. But we're locked in now. Last 30 seconds, clutch time, crunch time, whatever you want to call it. The kickoff almost works. So I gotta make sure I'm on this. I'm just trying to stall time here. I don't have much boost, so you know if it goes back to my teammate, that works too. All right? If you keep possession up, they probably the opponents probably won't score on you. So I'm trying to like zone, trying to like make sure we stay on their half of the field, but not like to overcommit. So that's kind of why I positioned right there, and it's over. And that's a GG. But like right here, right there, right here, I'm trying to predict the play that it's going to go left. But since he drives that way, I try to cut, I cut back in so that if it goes over my teammate, I can be there for the play, which is why I go slow here again. It gets past my teammate and I'm there, right? I don't let them get out of their zone for free at least. This guy's no boost. Teammate goes up for the ball. Boom. Game over. Yeah. That's that's how I got GC3 this season. Um, yeah. <laughs> I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you picked up something. Uh, maybe if you didn't, unlucky. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.